Hi, I'm Riley Gardner and I'm here to talk to you today about FASB statement number 95, the statement of cash flows. Now what is statement number 95? Statement number 95 deals strictly with the cash flows and it restructures the way the statement of cash flow is organized, which is in three different categories, the operating activities, the financing activities, and investing activities. It also provides relevant information about cash receipts and cash payments of an enterprise during a period. But now why was statement number 95 needed? Up until this point, companies didn't have a set outline for cash flow statements, and so it was very hard for accountants to organize all of these cash flow statements into a great or a set outline. So this statement provided that outline for them. It also helps ensure a simple and uniform layout for these, all these companies to use to give to their accountants. Now in dealing with the statement of cash flows, there are two different ways you could do it, the direct method and the indirect method. The direct method is a re-examination for each income statement item. It also reports how much cash was received or dispersed under each of those income statement items. And it does require the indirect method reconciliation attached at the bottom. Now the indirect method. The indirect method begins with the net income and then from there adjusts accrual amount for any items that do not reflect cash flows. These adjustments include revenues and expenses that do not involve cash, gains and losses associated with investing or financing activities, and adjustments for changes in current operating activities and liabilities that indicate non-cash sources of revenues and expenses. Now along with statement number 95, the accounting state standards update 2016-14 and 2016-18 comes along with it. This, this accounting standards update eliminates the required indirect reconciliation when using the direct method, so this is no longer needed to be attached at the bottom of the direct method statement of cash flows form. It also eliminates the accounts restricted cash and restricted cash equivalents. These transactions now fall into just cash and cash equivalents accounts. The overall goals of statement number 95 dealing with cash flows was to help clarify the classifications of transactions, thus eliminating the ca uh, restricted cash and the restricted cash equivalents, and also to clarify the classification of accounts on the statement of cash flows, thus eliminating the indirect method reconciliation at the, that was attached at the bottom of the direct method. I hope this was helpful today and that you learned something out of this.